Good day everyone, um, a gratitude video. Thank you subscribers, 303 subscribers to my channel. Um, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Some interesting things happening here, I believe. We are in the place that humans call Eastern Finland, uh, on the edge of a town called Joensu by the river mouth. Behind me, you'll see uh, what uh, is a yurt. And this place here is a so-called resilience hub where we are exploring scalable solutions of high-level sustainability for subarctic communities. So um, I don't know if the light is good enough for you to see. So here we are inside my home. It's a bit of a messy place in the moment, uh, but it's, uh, I call it a think tent. It's a laboratory of sorts. What you see, for example, here on the ground, in the moment you see a lot of uh, these are veins made of recycled materials that become um, a wind generator. So this process is going on. Here you see a bicycle electricity generator made of an exercise bike. So uh, low tech plays a huge role um, in finding sustainable solutions. And commitment decisions, of course, play another huge role. Um, yep, in the, over there you see um, my, my bed also, but it's also the place where I spend a lot of my time uh, thinking, reading books and thinking and having phone calls and using the phone, doing research on the internet and uh, writing, commenting, communicating. Um, yeah, that takes a lot of my time in the moment. More, I'm actually more time online than outside. I think uh, that's probably the case for many of us these days. I'm still trying to, um, or I'm, I'm heading towards a life where I'm, again, more outside than online. Uh, this being said, um, that's an investment. So with a project like this, I think it's really good to communicate what we're doing. And yeah, it's really, really interesting. Um, if anybody is on the brink of deciding what to do and maybe also why to do big changes in life, like um, moving into a small off-grid shelter. doesn't have to be a yurt, but I, th I still think like reducing the floor space per person <laughs> makes a lot of sense. We are having 40 something square meters in Finland uh, per person of floor space. So um, yeah, that's, that's really a good start. Um, and oh, by the way, this electricity projects that we are having here, um, Electricity is not a survival priority, it's a tool, right? For me, it's a tool to um, take care of the priority um, community, right? Communication. So I can do electronic communication with the whole world from here. It's amazing, right? Um, so I want to keep this video short, uh, give you another small tour around. I hear nice artwork I got from some journey. If, uh, and here, the lifeline, this rope goes around the whole yurt. It's a very practical, handy place. And something that is hanging here, spoon holders, spoon holders. There is so much about spoon holders to be said. Spoons are easy to understand. We have um, far more spoons than people on this planet. And for me, carrying a spoon holder around my neck or my favorite birth spoon is just a reminder um, of yeah, what is need to have, nice to have, what is enough, right? What can we even want? So anyhow, um, review from this time in this YouTube time here. Uh, this experiment so far has been very, very rewarding. I'm very, very grateful for all the support. And please ask questions, ask questions. If you think like, hey, make a video about this or that, please send these informations in the comments below. If you have some questions specific on how things work here in the off-grid life, I'm happy to help with anything. And there are like uh, a number of low-tech tools and a number of social tools that really make it easy to, um, yeah, extend your edges of your comfort zones and find uh, find ways of living that your children and future generations can maybe safely copy. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye bye.